how to type music symbols in Windows Office, like treble clef or down bow or whatever you got. What you uh, want to do is, first of all, you need to find a font that ha that supports the symbols. You can, you know, just Google um, and find a lot of fonts. One I found is Sonata, and that be downloaded for free. So once you find a font that ha supports it, <clears throat> you'll have to download it. If you have WinRAR, you'll see it like this. If not, you should install that. Pressing the Windows key and left or right arrow keys will dock the windows you're viewing to the left or right hand side of the screen. So you open it up. It's a .ttf file. You can go to uh, just type in font uh, in the start search, <clears throat> and it'll bring that little window up. And then you can drag and drop it in. I've already done it a couple of times. Then, once it's in there, it should automatically update into uh, your Windows program. If it doesn't, close the program, restart it, but it should work. Uh, if you have a newer version of Office. If you just type um, in a normal font, you know, it looks like this, but once you switch over to something like Sonata, then it's going to change it to show you these kinds of symbols. For some hidden symbols that aren't in the um, ABC123 or the shift, like, uh, you know, your ampersand or your dollar sign, all that stuff, if you go to um, run in uh, char map, C-H-A-R-M-A-P, one word, you'll see any given font is going to have a whole bunch of hidden stuff. And you can get to it by using something called Unicode. And so if I go to, let's see if I can find Sonata, and then go, like this was, I was trying to find this for a while, and I realized you can use this Unicode, which is Alt-0179. So if you just type, hold down Alt, it 0179. It's going to do something random that what you know times in Roman gives you that kind of symbol, which is useful for some stuff. But if you switch it over to Sonata or whatever uh, you know the corresponding font you have, it's going to give you what you want. It's a little tricky. It's a little trial and error, but this is the same way you also do like uh, emoticons, and this will work for Notepad as well. Um, one downside is that you can only do one font at a time with Notepad. So, yeah, that's it. Thank you. Bye.